Hi, how many dead flies guard your deepest secrets? In this vid I'll show you those that guard mine and what the heck this even means. So in Rick and Morty the kids are looking for a secret science lab, but all they find is a bunch of dead flies on a table. So they go like, hmm, maybe we have to lay them out and something will happen. They end up failing, but the punchline is they were right all along, just didn't know how to put the flies. Epic security. And this is what I'll be making in today's video. For the start I need some decent dead flies. Hi, got any dead flies? For me? Maybe? I'm talking to you. Bitch. Ok, originally I wanted to find and use dead flies, but I can't actually talk to spiders and so I had nowhere to get them when I made this around spring. Plus they also carry diseases and we just had one pandemic, ok? No, I'm going for the obvious alternative. I need some good FAKE dead flies. I couldn't find any convincing plastic flies anywhere, most look like black blobs and their feet look like tentacles, whatever the fuck this is, I didn't really like it. But I found pretty good fake cockroaches, like from a distance they almost could pass. And so I took these and added a few flies to the simple, hopefully apolitical, pattern so I knocked the whole thing, with three cockroaches and three flies. As for the setup itself, I took the visual approach. This used the cameras and the video feed to a Raspberry Pi mini computer. I was almost gonna write my homework on it, so it will do. It runs an AI bot now that will take the picture, evaluate it and then trigger the secret mechanism. So let's build. It's wirelessly hooked up to this little assembly here which is responsible for controlling this motor. As a result we get... Voila! Secret stash. At this point I would now present the big AI, but does anyone even want this? Anyone who asked? This is like the part that always gets skipped or something in videos, right? So instead here's a speedrun. One neuron has an elementary base function. Let's make that pattern recognition and connect millions of neurons into a bottleneck shaped network that squeezes the picture data along the way. Picture goes in on the left, prediction number goes out of the right side. In training we compare that with the real result and hand the difference to a magic algorithm to gradually adjust the neurons to get closer to it. We'll do this a few thousand times. And in practical terms I'm revving up the graphics card. May the number crunching begin. The upper left corner of this AI camera feed indicates how close we are to the secret code. It doesn't get very high, so I said like 65% unlocks the whole thing. So now I tossed in some insects and this bunch of stuff is only rated below like 10% at the moment. Now if I reorder these into the sides of the triangle, we're getting a like 30% match because it's only roaches and the flies are still missing, which I am now adding as the corners and something went wrong. So what happened is my hand somehow triggered it open. The trash USB can pack so nice, adds a bit of randomness and you can actually see how it passed the 65% mark for like 2 frames. Thing is primitive AIs like this are easy to confuse and when they get something unexpected they can spaz out and screw up. This is why AI isn't responsible for anything critical right now and a lot of research goes into stuff like this currently. Meanwhile in my case I never trained it with pictures of my hand or feet or whatever stuff, only the table and insects. This can be fixed with more training and pictures of my hand and whatnot, but for a DIY YouTube thing it's fine. So I just went and said open the door if the rating is high enough for several seconds. So now I can easily spend my time messing around, and when I'm done it will reveal a surprise tool that we'll need for later. One day, hopefully. And in the meantime my stuff is now safe and secure for my future projects. So stay tuned and see you next time for more crazy inventions and real life shit posting. Bye!